Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my calculator to do um, a line integral of a vector field. So, uh, like a lot of things that I do in Calc 3 and multivariable, I actually do it in a notes page with a lot of math boxes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off selecting notes. Um, and in notes, I can type notes myself. And then anytime I want to do some math, I actually have to do it in what's called a math box which I can uh, shortcut with command M. Uh, it's kind of just as fast to press uh, menu three, one, just like solve on the calculator. Um, so let's see what we can do here. So first thing I like to do is I like to uh, define the path, which is going to be, you know, X, Y, and Z. So I need a math box. So I'm inserting math box. And the first one is going to be x, and I'm just going to do colon equals. So I'm not doing x of t, just x, because it's less typing and it's a little easier. So uh, you can put in whatever you want. So like maybe it's uh, 5 minus t. I don't know. I'm going to press enter. Instead of saying done, it does this little green arrow and then shows you what's there. When you press enter from a math box, it creates another math box automatically for you. So I'm going to define what uh, y is equal to here. Let's do 2 plus t, something like that. And then z, let's say, is, um, I don't know, 8, I don't know, 8 minus 8t, whatever, something like that. Okay, so that's going to be the path. So those are the parametric equations for the path. And then um, the next thing I want to do is I want to define the vector field. And so I'm going to say vector field. You don't have to, like, type in what everything is, but I like to do that. And then I want a math box, so menu 3, 1. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to call this f. I'm not going to do f of t or anything like that. I'm going to do f colon equals. And then I want to put in a vector. So uh, it's control. And then open parentheses gives you this. And now what you do is you type it in the way it's given. So if it's uh, 3x times y, the multiplication is really important, comma, uh, maybe 2x comma, I don't know, y plus z squared. And make sure you press enter. Biggest mistake I see people make when they're um, dealing with these things is they forget to press enter after um, updating a math box, and then the calculator doesn't enter it. So uh, you can see what happened here is I typed in 3xy, and the calculator looked up here for what x and y are, and it substituted them and it does that all the way through, which is very cool. So if I go up here and change this to just T, you can see down by F, the whole thing changes, and you can go through and just update things. So this is why I think math boxes are the way to go with this kind of thing, because it's like set it up once and just use it. Okay, so I have my vector field. I need uh, the bounds that I'm going to use. So uh, these I like to call t0 and t1. So I need a math box, and you three one uh, t0 set equal to let's say zero, and then t1 let's set equal to one. I think that those are by far the most common bounds. Uh, zero and two pi are also very common, uh, but whatever you do, whatever the problem kind of dictates. So so far I've all this. And I'm ready to put in the line integral. So let's line integral. So I use this all the time. Um, I need a math box. And it's going to be the integral. So it's a definite integral from t0 to t1. And you can press the var key if you want to get these things. Uh, everything that we've stored so far is in var. And t1. Uh, okay. So what we're doing here is we're going to do uh, f dot, and then, so it's f dot. So actually, I don't want to do f dot. I want to do dot product. So I'm going to press menu, go to calculations, which is option six. I'm going to press up twice, or you can just type seven, or you press down a bunch of times. Uh, I need a dot product. So that's C. So I'm going to press up, or just type C, dot product of, OK, so it's the dot product of f and r prime, right? So r is our path. So what I want to do, I need the derivative. So the derivative with respect to t of, so it's going to be a vector, 
and we're just gonna type in what r is. So r is whatever x is, whatever y is, whatever z is, and then I want this whole integral with respect to t. And there you go. So now what you can do is you can update this with any uh, problems that you are working on. I use this a ton to check myself as I do these things. Um, let me see if I have some example from something that we've already done. Um, just opening up the notes on another, on another screen right here. Let's see. So maybe, do, 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 uh, here we go. Um, okay, so the path, so this is from page five of notes eight. The path is t squared um, updated t square root of t. That's our path. You can see it's giving me a yield sign here. Um, can I click that? I can click that. Domain result might be larger. That's okay. Um, I need to update this. So the given in the problem is z and then it's x times y. So make sure you use that multiplication there. If you don't use multiplication, you can see it. It's definitely messed up because it's not bold. So x times y and then uh, negative, negative y squared and press enter. T goes from zero to one, which makes sense. And then the line integral is 17 over 20. So this is a really helpful thing. I use it um, if you don't know Green's theorem yet, eventually you will. I use this all the time to check my answers for Green's theorem because the calculator doesn't really care about how hard the line integral is to evaluate. Green's theorem is something that lets you avoid doing um, a lot of line integral uh, challenging things and turn it into basically a double integral. So uh, I think this is really useful and I hope you do too. Hope you found this helpful and good luck.